Okay, before we get any further, it's a good idea to save our workbook because if something happens, ow, we'll lose all this information here. So to save it, you can see up here on the title bar, you get the generic name, book one. When you save it for the first time, it's going to perform what's called a save as, where it's going to ask you two questions. One, where do you want to save it? And two, what name do you want to give it? Instead of this generic book one. So you can come up here and click on the save button and it opens up the save as window unless you didn't watch my earlier training video on how to not go backstage to be able to do the save as there. In any case, you can watch that training video. So in my case, instead of going backstage, it opens up the save as window and it says, where do you want to save it? Well, you got your navigation pane over to the left hand side. And so if I want to be able to save it to my desktop, I can just go ahead and scroll down and expand this PC and go to the desktop. And then on my desktop over in the main window, I've got the exercises folder. So if I want to save it in there, I can double click to go into the folder. And then down below, the name of that workbook is going to be my Spiffy Sales Workbook. Because hey, everything we do here at Dreamforce is spiffy. And then just go ahead and click Save. And when you're done, it updates the title bar here from Book 1 to My Spiffy Sales. And so anytime you make any changes down below, like if I change this to four and hit enter, and I want to be able to save that, when I come up here and click on the save button, it's not going to ask me or perform a save as, where do you want to save it? What name do you want to give it? Because now it knows where to save it and what the name is. Now, if you want to make a backup or a copy of this workbook, because like you want to keep the original and then you want to make some changes, so you can always go back to the original to make a copy of it, you want to do a save as. So you can't come up here and click save because that's not save as, it's already been saved, it knows its name and knows where it's supposed to be saved. You want to come up here, in my case, and click on the command that I added to the quick access toolbar. You can watch my training video on that, we went over that in an earlier video. You can add commands to it and click on save as. To me that's a lot faster, or hitting the F12 key, as you can see in the pop-up, to be able to open up the save as window. In which case it's going to prompt me to find a place to save it and to give it a name. Now if I go ahead and it's in the same place and it's got the same name and I click save, it'll say do you want to replace it? In which case I'm like no, no, I don't want to replace it. This is going to be my copy. So I can come down here. I can save it in the same place as long as I give it a different name so it doesn't overwrite the original. So there's my spiffy cells, my spiffy cells copy. Click save. Updates the title bar to the copy. So now I'm in the copy. I'm out of the original My Spiffy Sales. So if I want to be able to open it back up, there's many ways to do it. I can go ahead and close out of Excel completely here. And I can go to my Exercises folder on the desktop and double click to open it up. And hey, there they are. The copy and the original, double click to open it up. Now, if you don't want to close out of the entire program, just the workbook, which, as you can see down below, this has many sheets. It doesn't matter if it just has one, it's still referred to as the workbook. but Again, if you want to be able to close out of just the workbook and not the program, you can do it one of a couple of ways. You can either come up here and click on the File tab to go backstage and down to Close, and the shell of the program is still open, but the workbook has been closed. You can do it that way, or, now speaking of other ways to open up that workbook again, instead of, you know, minimizing this down to the taskbar closing out and going to the exercises folder, you can come down below as we mentioned in an earlier video and right click on the Excel program to get a jump list and hooey, look at all those recents here. And there's my spiffy sales, the most recent next to the copy of it. And I can pin that up to the jump list as we covered in an earlier training video, but there's that way. Or you can with the program open, click on the file tab to go backstage and open is selected by default. And you can see recent selected by default and then over to the right hand side there's your other jump list but within the program here. So I don't have anything pinned but if I hover down below you can see that I can pin it if it's something that I want to always stay here no matter how many other workbooks I open up so it doesn't eventually roll off if I don't open it up as one of the most recent ones. So same thing with the jump list you got as you right click down here on the program as you see here. So what I opened up recently is my spiffy sales, then it's my spiffy sales copy. Maybe we can go ahead and do a demonstration and pin it. It's up in its own section, it'll always be there. And then go ahead and click on it to open it up, and hey, it's opened back up. And then if you want to use shortcut keys to close out of the workbook here, but not out of the program, Control-W 
Now is the W for workbook or windows? In any case, it's closed out. And then to bring it back open, like I said, you can go backstage. And if it's not one of the most recent ones, let me go ahead and unpin this. Then you're going to have to go ahead and browse for it. Click on Browse. Opens up the open window, which, by the way, you can add the open command to the Quick Access toolbar, so you don't have to go backstage to be able to open the open window through clicking on the Browse button. And go to your Exercises folder, and it's spiffy. Double click. There we go. Cool. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please look in the description below this video.